Today's video is sponsored by Black Gold Compost Company. I want to thank the good people over at Black Gold for the generous donate, donation of all this beautiful black cow cow manure that uh, we use in our video today. And uh, it's made a tremendous success in our garden. I've been using black cow for uh, many years, ever since 1980, and it's always made a tremendous difference in my garden. And I've been very pleased with our product. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Black Gold, for sponsoring our channel. Well, good morning, friends. I don't think there's anything as southern as a turnip green to you. Today we're gonna grow us some. I'll be right back after the break. Well, welcome back. I just love turnip greens. I, I especially love the roots. You know, the tops are great to eat and they're good, but man, I sometimes I just take me a whole pot of, um, of the turnip roots and I dice them up in little one inch cubes. I cube them up and boil them up with some salt and butter. And man, them things are, I just love the way they taste. Anyway, we're gonna grow us a bunch today and we're gonna use the purple top white globe turnip green and I got these from johnnyseed.com so if you want to get some of these seeds for yourself check out check them out online they got a good variety of all kinds of stuff for your spring garden and um, this can be grown in the spring as well as the fall um, if you live up you know a little further north than we do in Florida you can um, you can have real good success with these both spring and fall I'm gonna grow them here in the spring and I'm gonna start them real early so I can get them out before it gets real hot. But um, I just love these things. Anyway, these, um, these are, uh, I'm gonna direct sow these. I'm gonna do it a little different than you're used to seeing me do it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cultivate the row. Then I'm gonna grade it out with my grading rake and I'll set my guide string on there so I know exactly where I wanna put them. And I kinda dig me a little tiny trench down through down through the uh, soil underneath there and i'll take these and i kind of sprinkle them lightly sprinkle them along that um, row instead of popping them in one seed at a time it's just they're they're very small seeds and it's much easier to do if you just sprinkle some so i think that's what i'm gonna do i only got 400 seeds in here so do it sparingly and make it go across your row. <laughs> and you want to do it sparingly because these things get pretty big. They get this, the bulbs will get four to six inches. You, you want that uh, root when it's about the four inch diameter. That's when it's the most tender and has the sweetest taste. That's when I like it the best. So let's go over here and get this um, turnip green in the ground and get them started because I can't wait to eat them. Let's, let's get started. <laughs> Well, there's a purple top turnips. I only put in one row, and uh, as you can see, it's a little different than I usually do it, but actually it's easier to do. But anyway, these will uh, be emerging here in the next 10 or 12 days, and uh, we'll come back and keep up with the progression of these all the way up until we harvest them. So stick with us, and I'll be back in a couple of weeks. See you soon. Well, seven days ago, we sowed our seeds for our, our purple top white globe uh, turnip greens, and they've already uh, 
broke ground and they're I mean they are very small right now just the codlin leaves are just barely coming through but that's a great sign these um, they look like I had a really high germination rate look like 90 95 percent germination rate so I'm excited about that we'll let these keep growing and we'll be back in a couple of weeks and take a look at the progress because right now it's hard to see anything in there but we're getting there we'll be back in a couple of weeks Well, here we are with the turnip greens. They're looking real pretty. It's, they, we planted these, direct sowed these on March the 13th and today's April the 10th. So they're about a month old. They're getting some height now. Good, got about six inch leaves on them now, about six inches long. So in the days ahead, they're gonna really start getting some good traction and make some good progress. So we'll be back in, I'd say probably let's come back in about three weeks and look at these together again and take a look at where we're at because I'm looking forward to getting them turnip greens because man, I love turnip greens. We'll see you soon. Well, good morning, friends. Our turnip greens have come into their own. They're the perfect size that I like to harvest them at, which is just like that. And, uh, I'm gonna harvest these things out today because I just love these roots. You can eat the tops as well, and they're good, but I particularly grow these simply for the roots. I just love these roots. I dice them up, cube them up, and uh, put them in a, uh, a pot, and I boil those up. And those are quite tasty. White globe, purple top turnip. So let me get a bunch of these up and uh, I'll get them over to the harvest area and clean them up and we'll take a look at them. Be right back. Aren't these pretty? Oh boy. Get the salt ready and the butter ready and boil these up. They're gonna make a delicious little side dish tonight for supper. But anyway, I think you got the idea of what these things look like. I got a whole bunch of them to clean here. These things will store up pretty good too. So once I get them clean, I'll put these things in the refrigerator, you know, and they'll end the uh, vegetable bin inside the refrigerator and these things will last you know two three weeks easily you know with no problem and um, these are quite tasty and uh, i think this might be something you might want to try sometime the best time to grow this is in the fall um, i grew these in the spring this year simply because i had a hankering for some and i wanted them uh, right now so we grew some this spring in our summer garden but uh, they grow much better in the fall. They don't bolt and um, they're not quite as woody. They're a lot more sweeter if you grow them in the fall. But anyway, a great choice for the, for the garden. It might be something you wanna try. So I hope our video brought a joy to your heart and a smile to your face. And until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by his hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day.